When I was um, older and had my own daughter, I taught her about Mary McLeod Bethune, and you know she had an assignment at school where she had to become a character that she admired, and she became Mary McLeod Bethune. In one conversation that she had with Mrs. Roosevelt, she said, I think your husband needs to talk to me. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I guess you, ha you do what you have to do, and that's what I think all of us women do. You know, if you believe in it, you know, you do what you have to do. Each one to each one. <laughs> it's one of the organizations that is taking a deeper thought or process to kind of acknowledge a variety of people. Thank you um, to all of the, the sheroes around this table. My parents moved here when I was a year old, but every once in a while when it's uh, advantageous, I say, yeah, I'm from Chi Talk. <laughs> I like to say Negro. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> because it reminds me of my grandmother and how she used to say it and what she thought about it. You know, because she admired women like Mary McLeod Methuen and Nanny Burroughs. I'm just sitting here thinking of um, uh, Carol Shockness and you know, Mrs. McCallum and uh, Willie Helen McCallum. And we lost her not too long ago, too. So. Those were beautiful women. Yes, it's wonderful you. to hear you speak the names yeah. of those. Oh, my eyes are tearing up. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll be the crier in that one. <laughs> I also believe that there are young people. When I think of Tamika Brigham, I think of Janice Mackey, Leslie Lewis, Stephanie Cross, these well, even our current leader of NCAW, Denver Chapel. I think Lenitra is just outstanding. And this is a young woman who has come in and said, we're going to make a change. They're going to be sitting here at this table where we are tonight. That's right. That's what I'm looking forward to seeing, those young people. Sylvia Smith. Sylvia Smith Brown, I think people are. Yes. <laughs> it's time, Sylvia. It's time. We're the community. Mm -hmm. We sometimes lose sight that when we're doing this work, mm -hmm. we're the community mm -hmm. ourselves. I love being able to meet other women that have so you could cha exchange ideas, build relationships, work together, and plan to help the community. We are speaking truth around how maybe our community benefiting from institutions and maybe not benefiting from institutions. You gotta take care of yourself, you know, because you have all these gifts, you have all this passion for the community. So put your oxygen mask on first. Yeah. Just something in my spirit said, now is the time. Because I think the world right now needs NCW. And then it, it hit me like, it's such an epiphany that you never realize the one thing that you can do to change somebody's life.